Welcome back. And for anybody who's new, my name is Lonnie and I am a 57 year old full-time social media influencer. I vlog daily and I just really try to show anybody who comes across my channel that you can be anything you want at any age. So today we have some things planned. I got my hand tattooed on the 7th. So I'm gonna give you a little update on how the healing went and kind of just give you my review of what it's like to get your hand tattooed. Found my old iPad and I came up with an idea how I could use that in my vlogging and I can't get it to reset so I have to call Apple. Brandon and I are taking Indy to the vets. We're recording our We're in Trouble Now podcast. I picked up some packages from my P.O. box so we're gonna be opening that and Robert and I have to get over to the grocery store to stock up. So let's get our day started and I'm super excited that you're joining me. I found my old iPad. I thought it would be super cool just to carry this with me. When I'm out vlogging, I might need two different cam camera, uh, not a camel angle, camera angle. I just have high hopes to see if this little iPad, if this will simplify my life in any way. If I can get my little dinosaur going and it helps me make life simpler, I will be super happy. Why do they have to make it so difficult? 1-800-care, A-P-L, C-A-R-E, just give me the phone number. Just be like 1-800-444-5555. That's all I want. I believe we have this worked out. I really tried to do this myself without having to call, but I pushed the wrong button. Don't ask me why, I am so excited over um, a very, very old iPad, but I am. That's truthfully all that matters in life is that I'm excited over the small things. So Indy and I are waiting for Brandon. We're gonna go see um, how much she weighs. We've had her now for just about a month. She's 11 weeks old. She's just adorable. She's the light of my life. Besides my kids, I mean, I love my kids too, but my puppy's pretty damn cute. Update on the baby. He weighs 24 pounds and... Your seatbelt? Oh, I'm looking at Brandon like, turn on, put on your seatbelt. 24 pounds, now I'm safe. She got her shot. Her itching, they said that it's like a puppy thing. Yeah. That it's, it's like she should outgrow it. It's almost like puppy acne. They said a lot of short-haired dogs have it. Yeah, like boxers and pit bulls yeah. and stuff like short, that. Short hair. She comes back in four weeks for her last shot, so we get to start taking her for walks. Yep. A lot of cute girls there. Yes. Are you going to be bringing her, are you going to the vets with me next time? Who knows? I'm, I'm a good wing person. Yeah. I'm a good wing mom. Yeah. I think I'm a good wing mom. I am so so thankful that Indy's doing well. And I am even more thankful that Brandon went to the appointment with me. Brandon was with me when I had to put Liberty down. Liberty was my 13 year old pit bull that we had had since, um, we'd had for 13 years. Robert was out of state and it was Brandon and I and we had to say goodbye to her. And it was a really, really tough time. Just having him there um, and having a good experience, I think is it's gonna be good for him. So I'm happy that Indy's good. And I'm even happier that Brandon went with me for, um, for a little closure in, in, in the passing of Liberty. So some of the ideas that we were coming up with were, um, I, I like the, I was telling Brandon about it, like doing like a, an episode where we have to camp overnight. And yeah, you were just, saying like alone. Yeah, kind of like, kind of like a little alone episode where we have. When's the last time you camped? When now you realize that in alone they have like, they, they bring 10 things. Okay, what 10 so things would you bring? A tent. There else? There's one. A fire starter. Two. A sleeping bag. Three. Um, this is for both of us, Brandon. Well, no, we, no, you you go. No, we, I'm gonna bring my ten things. No, because they're gonna we, be different. Well, wait, no, we can only bring ten things together. 
Really? What? Yeah, don't you think that would be more? Okay, yeah. No, I want to say my own tent. I was going to say, you guys want... No, no, no. Ten things together. I like that better. No. Yeah, ten things together. Things each. No. Yeah, you guys get five things each. Okay, Brandon. What are are the five things that you're bringing? Tent. Hang on. Tent. Water. Sleeping bag. Water. You're bringing water. Purse. Okay. What? (laughs) How much water are you bringing? A gallon. Okay, you're bringing a gallon of water for one night. Yeah. And for four... So what do I have? Um, I need a, a, a hot spot location. A hot spot <laughs> location? Yeah. What's a hot spot? Friends, Wi Fi. He wants yeah. internet. <laughs> I, want, I want something to give me Wi Fi out in the forest. You want something to give you Wi Fi out yeah, in the so forest? Yeah, so like a hot spot location thing. I'm gonna put hot spot. Yeah. Location. Yeah. Just okay. Like, yeah. And then, um, I don't know, that's it. That's it. Yeah, because I'm just gonna order food. Sure. So I, I can't help but notice, Brandon, that a cell phone was not on your list. Well, so you have, have a, you have a hotspot location for no, no cell, cell phone. phone. No, I have it. You, it's not. You have. You can if it's not on the list, you can't then bring five it. Five is my phone. Okay, five is your phone. Update on my hand tattoo. I got my hand tattooed back on July 7th. Here is kind of a little breakdown of how that all went. I have both of my hands tattooed. I have this one just as a black and gray. This one is the color. This one swelled just a little bit and I just had one little speck right there that was kind of like a little scab. This one on the other hand, I walked out of there I walked out of the tattoo shop knowing I was in trouble. I knew 100% that my hand was gonna swell because when I was sitting there watching him tattoo, I could see my fingers just be like It took me a good solid week of just babying my hand, making sure that I did not bump it, keeping it clean, keeping it lotion. I have just a couple of little spots. I have a little bit of a raised spot right here that I know needs to heal a little bit more. Right there in the middle took a lot of color. He had to hit that quite a few times. Couple of tips if you're gonna go in to get your hand tattooed. Make sure you take off your rings before you go in. Had I not have taken off my rings before I went in, I would have had to have cut them off. I had to ice my hand on a continuous basis. I would ice it for 30 minutes and then put a warmer, uh, put a warm cloth on it to get the blood circulating again. So ice, heat, ice, heat. I alternated between, I went went back and forth between the ice, but I iced it for 30 minutes at a time. I did not use Sanoderm on my hand. I was worried that my hand was going to, that my hand was going to continue to swell. I did not want to put on a second skin and then have my hand continue to swell and then just have it constricted. And the thought of me peeling off the second skin on my fresh tattoo was enough to give me nightmares. Did use is fragrance free soap. I use my fragrance free Vaseline lotion. I kept it um, lotioned with this. Actually had to use Neosporin on a couple of spots. I use the Neosporin again right here on the middle, right here on the wrist, right here on the wrist and just because it's scabbed. Another thing that saved me was this Mad Rabbit soothing gel. But this soothing gel The day after, the lotion just wasn't cutting it, and my hand felt hot. It felt like my hand was on fire. But as a mom, I already told Brandon, because Brandon's going in to get both of his hands tattooed, to make sure that he has some of this. Absolutely love the hand tattoo, and it was absolutely, and I've said this before, it was an absolute beast to heal. Probably the hardest tattoo that I've had to heal. I will start putting um, sunscreen on this probably sometime next week. I mean, truthfully, I have a very high pain tolerance for tattoos. This one hurt. Final thought on my hand tattoo. I mean, I'm not gonna fool anybody. I know exactly how old I am. The truth is, the older we get, the thinner our skin gets. Talk to your artist. If you're over 50 like me, and you want a hand tattoo, just talk to your artist. Just make sure that they're comfortable tattooing you, and you will be fine. We are on our way to Barron's. Did you like the podcast, Robert? Yeah, it's fun. I thought it was
was a really fun one. Here's what y'all don't know is I asked Brandy to come with me on the 5th to get my nose pierced. So when they came back from getting the pizza, Brandon's like, hey, you know what? Hey mom, I'm gonna go get your nose pierced with you. And I'm like, cool, Brandon, thanks. And he's like, I'm gonna get my nose pierced at the same time. I'm like, oh wow, that's really cool. So he's getting his um, septum. septum, his septum pierced. And I'm gonna get the little side of my nose pierced. And then I asked Robert, I'm like, Robert, Yes. Do you want to get something pierced? Nope. And that was his answer. So just me and Brandon. It'll be fun. Let's go get some groceries. Sad to report, but it is, I just cannot get my little iPad to work in the way that I wanted it to. Try as I might, it is too old, it is too outdated, and it's just not gonna do what I want it to do. I have some new ideas, and you know what, my birthday's coming up, and I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna pull the trigger, and I'm gonna buy myself a new iPad. Changing locations, so Baby Shark will not um, eat my packages and allow me to open them in peace. So opening commencing. So what they sent me were, um, this looks like some silver gloss, and there's three different shades. So there's a light, a medium, and a dark, kind of purple gloss. So this is interesting. I just put purple in my hair, and my hair is very purple. So I'm not too sure if um, when I would be using that. I got some anti-aging moisturizer for the day and for night. This one has sunscreen, so I really like it when my moisturizer has sunscreen. Let's see what's in the other package. Now, what the second package was, it's actually really pretty cool. It is a woman-owned business and it's teeth whitening stuff. I don't know, I'm really weird that way. I'm an influencer who's like, you know what, I just don't wanna put my name behind a whole lot of different products. I think that that invalidates um, what I'm doing. I'm here to try to inspire people to feel really good about themselves. I'm not here to sell every single product that comes my way. I don't know. Again, I might be weird, but it's just the way I, I am. I just, I don't know. Thank you for my, thank you for my stuff. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you for my stuff.